Mommy Loves Makeup. I am here for this month's Ipsy bag. I actually got mine on Saturday and opened it because I can't wait. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm impatient on stuff like that. So um, I went ahead and looked at it. I haven't used any of the products, but I thought I would still go ahead and share that with y'all. Let me scooch myself over. So this month is obviously, like we match. Look at that, color coordinating. Um, is beauty schooled. Obviously, August is back to school, which my daughter actually started pre-K today. I can't believe it. It was, she loved it. It was great. So, beauty school, of course, on the back. You can upload a picture on Instagram and possibly win a year subscription. So, let's talk about the bag. Bag is like orange and white, kind of patent leather. Really cute. Um, you can actually use this as a pencil bag which would be great for me because I start school Wednesday. But I, I'm really enjoying this bag. It's super cute and it'd be really cute for like Halloween too. So good job on the bag, Ipsy. I feel like um, they're like, I feel like their bags are like getting a lot and a lot better um, every month and it doesn't have that weird smell, which is why I just smelled it. So the first thing that wasn't able to fit in this bag was the Urban Decay Perversions mascara i am so excited to actually try this this is just a pamphlet on it and i am gonna go ahead and open this even though i have quite a few mascaras that i'm using but look it's like your eyelashes it's supposed to do that so we'll see super excited i've never tried any of the urban decay sorry about my fingernails um urban decay mascaras so let's see what it looks Ooh. I like these brushes. These are like my favorite brushes. So I'm pretty excited to try this. Um, and the formula actually looks, it looks really like, like fluffy, like creamy fluffy. So excited to try this. If anybody else got this or has used this, tell me about it. Tell me if how well it works. So seriously, happy about that. Let's get to what's inside here. Next thing we are going to look at is this Lord and Berry Black Silk Mini Coal Eyeliner. Um, lately, I have been just using pencil eyeliners, which is great. Kind of been staring away from liquid for a bit. So, ooh, it's nice and smooth. Really, really like that. It is so small. This is ridiculously small, but I mean, whatever. It's, I'm happy. Love how smooth that went. Love black. I'll be excited to try this and see actually how much this one costs. I really like coal liners. I feel like they're a lot better than some regular pencil liners. Next thing here is a Coastal Scents Forever Blush. Two perfectly pigmented shades of Forever Blush for a long lasting rush of color. And there's also like a code on the back that you can get 25% off, which is really great because Coastal Senses stuff is super inexpensive and a lot of people seem to really enjoy the products. So here are the colors. I don't know what these colors names are, but let me swatch. This first one looks like a, um, kind of like a bronzer to me. Now, I wouldn't say that this pink is actually kind of pretty pigmented, but this other color, you kind of need to add more. But there are those colors, if you can see. The pink's really pretty, and this one's nice and pretty, too. So, I'm really excited to try these out. The only thing about this pink is there's, like, it's really glittery. I'm not into super, super, it's not super, super glittery, but it's, it might be too glittery for me, but I will give it a shot. It doesn't hurt to try um, new things. So I'm really excited to try these. I have never tried anything by them um, makeup wise, so really excited. The next thing is You're the Bomb Green Apple Absolute New York Lip Balm. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, never heard of them. Something new. Love lip balm. It smells like... It smells like green apple, but it, it seriously smells like something else, too. Kind of reminds me of Jolly Rancher. Nice and creamy. It's not a tinted lip balm, is it? 
No, but it just smells good. It's really nice. I mean, it's just like a lip balm. Um, nothing I can really say about, I guess, once I start using it, I'll figure it out. Really cool, because this will be nice to go in my purse, and it's, um, I like it so far, because it's lip balm. Last but not least, Dr. Brandt's Pour No More. Um, it's a pore refiner primer. I like Dr. Brandt. Um, instant Metafine Pore Refiner. Apply under or over makeup and throughout the day as needed. Let's see. And it's sealed, which is great. I like sealed stuff. I just, okay, and it's, it's actually a shade. But there's that. It's really creamy, like a uh, frothy, if that makes sense, um, frothy. And it feels like the baby pores, um, the Maybelline baby pores or that sma the Smashbox one. That's what it kind of feels like, but it feels like a little thicker than that. Kind of has a weird smell to it, to be honest with you. But whatever, I mean, I'll try it. It's Dr. Brandt. He's, it's a really good brand. So yeah, I'll give that a try. I hate pores, you know, I like to minimize my pores. So we'll see how well this works. But that is all for my Ipsy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye.